Hey my YouTube friends, welcome back. If you're someone who's interested in purchasing a Surface Laptop 7 or a Surface Pro X, especially the ARM version, or if you're already an owner and you want to increase the performance of your integrated GPU, the Adreno Qualcomm GPU, or if you have upgraded the SSD of the Surface Laptop 7 or Surface X Pro and ever since ran into any issues with your upgraded one terabyte or two terabyte SSD, this video is for you. So first thing about the GPU that comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite or Snapdragon X Plus or X, upgrading to the latest driver may be crucial. Microsoft Surface does push like firmware or drivers update uh, from time to time, but sometimes it's like months behind the reference driver. I want my Surface laptop to support the 4K 120 Hertz uh, external display support. And they, the Qualcomm chips, they do claim their GPU support 4K 120 Hertz with, uh, with USB Type-C or the um, HDMI output, but I never have achieved that. There is no such option when I connect my Surface laptop to an external monitor. The maximum I can get is was either at 4K 60 Hertz or uh, a much lower resolution at 120 Hertz. Uh, at one time I gave up and thought maybe this is like an inferior GPU that does not support the high standard, like high, high refresh rate 4K external monitor. But in many of the like user manuals about this chip, they officially support the resolution, like, like 4K resolution and 120 Hertz refresh rate. I was so frustrated until I find out this. So actually we should upgrade the um, GPU driver and that will solve the questions once and for all. Um, there are two ways of doing this. The first is, the first way is you jump to Qualcomm.com's uh, Qualcomm's software center and download a support software to do the upgrade. It's so funny that when I first go to like this Qualcomm website to their support website, they actually asked me to get approval to register a user ID. Come on, it's 2025 and it's a consumer product. I have to wait for their approval to get a Qualcomm ID to be able to, to download the software and access their driver support. It's pretty ridiculous. But anyway, after um, successfully register a Qualcomm ID and sign in, you look at um, look at this URL, or if you can you, you can like search for this this uh, Windows graphic driver from softwarecenterqualcomm.com. You're able to see that this is a download option that you can get. Uh, the version, the driver version, is somewhere like 31.0.82.0, and this is much newer than the one Surface Laptop or Surface Pro X is currently pushing out. So if you download this driver, it will give you a nice like installer package, a exe file, you double click and you can download uh, and you can install the upgraded the uh, graphic driver. That'll solve your problem of supporting 4K 120 Hertz display, external display, as well, as well as give you a pretty nice boost in terms like gaming performance. I'm not sure how many users are using these laptops for gaming purposes, but if that's what you're doing, then definitely upgrade to a much newer graphic driver to increase the performance. And if you're someone who's not willing to kind of wait for Qualcomm's bullshit of like getting approval for uh, their Qualcomm ID to download the driver, there's an, an uh, alternative, and that is go to this GitHub repo and just to search for Qualcomm reference drivers in Google or whatever search engine and go to this GitHub project, they will list all the Qualcomm drivers, including those like super old ones, the older Qualcomm chips. And the 8380 is where you want to look into. And this, these are the Snapdragon X chips. Go to any of these folders. In this case, I, I go to the CRD folder and you can see a bunch, a list of reference drivers folder Check, check out the latest one. The one I checked out was uh, 200.0.46.0, this one. And go inside this driver. The one, the display driver you're looking for, we're looking for is the QCDX. So QCDX is what we're interested in. I have already downloaded this in my folder. So just to copy everything in this folder out somewhere else. In, in this case, it'll warn you, um, this could be dangerous or problematic. And in this case, I'm just uh, downloading, I'm just uh, extracting all the files into this folder, the display driver. And what you're gonna do next is you go to the device manager and go to the display adapters. And this is the GPU from the Qualcomm 
uh, Snapdragon X Elite. Click on Update Driver and browse My Computer for Drivers. Go to the folder we just uh, extracted the, the files from the latest driver and ask Windows to update the driver. So in this case, the beta drivers for your device, device are already installed. I installed it yesterday and solved, it solved my problem of supporting the 4K 120 hertz display issue. And now if I look at the driver's version, it says 31.0.81.0. And the one which we saw on the um, Qualcomm support website, let me compare these two. This one is 31.0.82.0. So the reference driver I downloaded from the GitHub um, GitHub repo we just uh, browsed into actually is later. Is this is a more uh, this is a newer driver than the one cur uh, currently available on the Qualcomm site. But regardless, these are much newer than the one Microsoft Surface now is pushing out to everybody. The second thing is about the SSD. If you haven't already checked out my video, here's the link to my video of upgrading my 256 gigabyte of uh, SSD Surface Laptop 7 to two terabyte Surface Laptop 7. If you plan to do so, just to go to Amazon or anywhere, get a 2230 standard SSD that has much larger size, like one terabyte or uh, two terabyte and upgrade easily uh, to your Surface Laptop or Surface Pro X that'll definitely increase the um, usability of your Surface Laptop or Surface in general. But ever since I upgraded to the two terabyte SSD from Western Digital, the black SN770, I do, I did sometimes experience like random system crash, either blue screen, uh, mostly blue screen. And it gives me arrow of like um, the, the drive, drive arrow. And it come, it came pretty randomly that almost makes my Surface laptop, laptop unusable because maybe the next minute you have a very important meeting and you, you need to use your laptop to join that meeting, but the laptop just randomly crashed right before the meeting. Uh, at the most, it happened like once or twice every day. It basically renders my laptop unusable. Then I did a lot of research and there were some talking about uh, the, dri the driver, the drives that like uh, Western Digital Black's SN770, it has some compatibility issue with the latest Windows 11, 24H2, and uh, their, its drive table has a like sub, uh, has a default default size of 64 megabytes yeah, versus a Windows standard like 200 megabytes. Some explanations uh, all over there, but not not a good solution to solve the problem. Then later on, um, I found out a way that can solve the problem once and for all. Now my Surface laptop is running the two terabyte SN770 from Western Digital Black. No problem, very good performance, never run into any issues ever after I did this. So this is what I have done. I upgraded the uh, SSD's firmware. Yes, you're right, I updated firmware again. So what you're gonna do is just to search for Western Digital uh, SSD uh, dri drive um, firmware update tool, something like that. And you go to, you, you, got, you go to this web page and download and install this tool. This tool, uh, choose the correct version, either it's a offline version or online version, whatever, that, that's, that doesn't make a difference. And after you like install, download this and install this tool on your Surface, it gives you a pretty nice dashboard to show uh, the drives, the Western Digital drives currently connected to your laptop or to your computer. In this case, I have a SN770M and you can see it's the 2230 form factor and two terabyte is the best you can get. And it's, it's very fast, it's compact, the performance is decent, that's nice. And if your SN770 has some problem or the firmware, the firmware wasn't the latest, it'll pop up some notification asking you to uh, install the latest firmware. In my case, I did get that notification and I click on update firmware, just take a couple of seconds and your uh, SSD is up updated, upgraded to the latest firmware. And that firmware actually fixed the default uh, drive table problem or something like that. And ever after I installed that firmware, it runs smoothly, it runs no problem. Uh, the performance is great, it's reliable. Now my Surface laptop is reliable and usable again. So if you're a Surface user, especially the ARM Surface user, or if you plan to, to purchase one of these Surface devices, definitely do the two things above.